Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a leak on this radiator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. It's a nice cold day in New York City. Working in this building right here where we have a leak on our radiator piping so we got our nice nice leak for today let's go ahead and rebuild this thing and right, so we got two valves here At the moment they are closed and this system is drained they're going to be turning on the system soon so unfortunately we won't be able to test our piping for leaks today so you better make sure you do a good job so this area is leaking here possibly this area here as well I have a new valve I have the new temperature controller and I have some fittings so I'm thinking of rebuilding from here cut this cut this so rebuild this section right here we're gonna open up this union here and see if there's any water left in the pipe before we cut this thing <laughs> yeah, that thing is on there, all right. That thing is on there. You can also get the larger pipe yeah. so you have some more leverage. All right, take two. There we go. All right, just leave it right there. Close it a little. All right, hold on. Let it be. Let it be. Let it just leak out into the back. That's why I did not want to cut that pipe just like that. This thing is pressurized. Let's let this thing leak out. We'll cut the pipe when we know we're ready. It's safe. We're letting that leak out. So that one's coming from downstairs. This and this is closed. What I did, I wish I could play some pool right now. Follow down this line. I found another valve. I don't know what they're talking about that this system's down. I just felt heat on this pipe. See right there, there's a ball valve, the yellow handle, I closed it. So now we're isolated from there. So whatever water we're draining out now is through this piping and we should be safe from there. Let's let this leak out. All right, we're free now. And this water is just about done. Got a new valve here with the union. Got a male and female adapter here, T. These elbows are not regular elbows, these are street elbows. You can see, they didn't use regular elbows here. This is a street, this is a street, and this is a street. So we're gonna try to make this fit somehow. Water is pretty much done now. We can get started. I think I have enough space here to press on a fitting. If not, you know, you can really need to. You know what I mean? I'm cut a couple of these fits, that ain't gonna be a big deal. Alright, let's get started. That's the old version. Here's an idea of what we're gonna do. And uh, let's hope this fits because this is much larger. I gotta see how I can make this work. Alright, let's start by cutting the edge of our heater. Hopefully we have as much pipe as possible. This pipe is now cut. Now we're gonna make a cut here. Cut this one out. up this piece here you can control how open or closed you want this valve here it just pushes up and down the stem pull it. there we go I'm gonna go ahead and pull this valve out basically 
just spin it off. that male pipe adapter but I'm not sure with all these terrible fittings bad connections I don't know how much I trust them so pretty much let's spin this off clean this up start fresh we're gonna sand down our piping so we have a nice clean connection to work with gonna clean this up. Uh, I don't know I think I'm gonna change that I don't have much space to press on a new fitting so what are we gonna do I do have an idea maybe we will light a torch but just to pull off that fitting we'll see we will see there's not much space here just to preserve some extra pipe I want to get rid of this fitting it really doesn't look that good so we're gonna use our torch we're using propane in this case. We're gonna melt the solder off and pull this fitting out. I don't wanna melt the solder on this pipe, so I use wet rag heat block and putty. And I got a fireproof mat here to protect the surrounding area. We're gonna heat it up, pull out that fitting to preserve that pipe. Get the, the fitting on the yeah, right there, right there. years later all right we had a bit of a problem this piece came out not even that it blew up luckily this is empty we could either solder this back but I do have a one inch valve here let's try to unsolder this again and not melt this all right let's try to get this going dear lord let's try to prep this as best as we can leaving this valve open I took out the little air vent. Let's heat this up and let's pull this valve out because we don't have space to work with. We'll just press a whole new thing on, even though it's close, it is what it is. our threaded fittings so we're gonna put Teflon tape on there and then PTFE paste. All right, we'll put some paste on there. And we're gonna do the same for the other side that has Teflon tape. I'm just gonna get that started a bit. That's how we're gonna prep the valve. We're gonna tighten these two down. All right guys that's what we're looking like follow the arrow it's coming from here 
just gonna adjust this the right way so that the cover can close. We're gonna be all right. Press it up. All right. It's gonna be the final setup. Let's go ahead and press this thing up. I wish it was a little straighter. Everything's crooked here. We gotta make sure this cover actually comes on. All right, we could actually get this straight. Let's start pressing it up. Okay, make sure our fittings are all the way in. perfectly straight this is a no stop coupling so this pipe end is directly this pipe is directly with this one and I made a marking to find the midpoint watch my other videos you'll see what I'm talking about fit here yes have it all right put a little teflon tape on here put the little bleeder on said they're gonna turn the heat on so we'll be able to actually test this all right pretty tight let's look inside this valve while he turns that all right spin it and you're gonna to start to see it's gonna open up see how it opens up there you go all right now spin it the other way So we're just adjusting the flow with this controller here. Hey man, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right, we're about to open up the water. All right, let me know if you got any leaks. Let's open it slowly. Fucking bitch. Not <laughs> <laughs> You too. <laughs> All right, it's opening up. 
see if you got heat or any leaks. All right, Daniel. Yeah, I got you. I got some more valves to open. Hey, check it out. Got some more press fittings here with a uh, limo. All right, we got heat here, but I think my fluke meter is done. 69 degrees. Gonna stop playing with me. Anyways, this looks great. We got no leaks. That's awesome. The fluke is a fluke, man. We got 114 degrees there now. So you know we got heat. And you know there's water flowing through there. Perfect. And this thing looks great. Honestly does. Let's just go ahead and put this controller on top. Let's get out of here. Pretty much just gonna drop this thing on top. And tighten down a little Allen key right here. We're gonna wrap this video up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe.